something for calming and grounding when we are in fun season um, and our bed which I normally do the bed videos on is covered in surfboards and various other things that are going on so I decided that instead I would do something that's been coming to mind quite a lot which is some grounding use of the feet now this um, is something you see a lot in a lot of traditional dance forms so when I studied African people's dance and Katakali um, and then more recently I was working with someone who was doing some Aboriginal um, Australian dancing and all of them use a very similar technique with the feet and I thought it's really useful thing to look at using in terms of grounding when perhaps you don't have time to do some exercise but you or you can't get out into nature but you really feel the need and it's best if you can do this with no shoes on so that you can really have your feet flat and bare and the first thing I'm going to do is just go over the feet and then it kind of doesn't really matter uh, what you decide to do in terms of the steps so I'm going to stand sideways on just to go over a few details so the key is it's a flat foot so when I say a flat foot it's trying to put the ball of the foot and the heel down at the same time now this is, can also be done in alchemic yoga it's often done in tai chi qi gong movements is we go very slowly but we're trying to constantly place the whole of the foot down at the same time so as you're stepping forwards you are or stepping backwards or whatever it is it's harder stepping backwards so generally we go forwards or sideways you are wanting to have this feeling of the foot stepping down flat, ball and heels, um, ball and heel together. So in our modern way of walking, we do heel to toe, right? And that's what you'll get taught a lot with barefoot walking work, is heel to toe. And that's really uh, natural in terms of our movement pattern to walk, gives that buoyancy, but it doesn't give that same sense of grounding, of working down into the earth to feel the support of the earth coming back. So these aren't big steps. We're not looking at big steps. We're looking at small steps. And I mean, if you were to go for the Tai Chi, you could go slowly and go for step and step and step and step. And as you can see, my naturally my gait is a little wider than my shoulders, about shoulder width-ish or maybe a little wider. And you're kind of walking down that transitional movement of side to side foot. So we're not trying to walk crossing over in a straight line. And then the next thing is going to be, you can go as fast or slow as you want and you can let your hips move. So this is a very free movement, just trying to concentrate on this connection, the feet in the floor. Now you could stay with one foot, you could tap, 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 tap. tap, tap. So as you can see, it's very free as to what you'd like to do in terms of the movement. So if your balance is feeling particularly, ooh, it needs a bit of help, you might find that you wanna do the really slow. So we'll just start with the slow, little slow, flat foot to flat foot. And this is more the Tai Chi or Qigong style that you might see, where the weight is transitioning as much as you can flat, to flat. So we're trying not to either ball heel or heel ball that's hard. <laughs> it's really hard when I'm trying to stay within some kind of camera view um, and move around in the space and not go forwards and back. So just <laughs> bear with my not always perfect demo. And then you might find that you want to go a little faster because you're feeling a bit more agitated and that's fine. And it can be quite nice just to start practicing side, side, side 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 and it doesn't matter if there is a bit of that banging into the ground see I naturally want to swing my arms that's absolutely fine yeah so when I was learning a very long time ago <laughs> uh, doing the African people's dance this was something we used to do a lot of walking across rooms bouncing our hips side to side but also trying to get our feet flat 
to different rhythms. So you can make up your own rhythm. You don't have to stick with my little threes. One, two, three. One, two, three. It's just a bit easier to let those arms swing. And it's super tempting every now and then to throw in like little heel beats as though you're doing something else. Now the difference between these completely flat foot is that in Kathakali, which is a Southern Indian dance form, you actually use the different pads of your foot to create the different rhythms, but you use this whole flat foot for certain aspects of the technique. As you do it, it helps you to free your arms. So you get this lighter sense in your arms, even though your legs are bent and super grounded. It does not need to be heavy, you can do it light. But often, with those traditional dance forms, we might add in some bells around the feet, and you might start to move a bit more across your space. Now, it does depend how much space you've got. You can also start to add in circling, doing some spins. And as you can see, you get this slight shuffle with the feet then when you start to go that bit faster. So this is where, when I was talking to this teacher of some traditional Australian dancing, and she was saying, there's a slight brush with the foot as it goes through. So it's still that flat brush, but the foot's still flat, yeah? So it's sliding, it's a bit lighter, and you can weave the foot in and out. And it gets a little bit more of a lovely, sensuous brushing moment motion. You can do some figure of eights with those arms. But the key with all of this is those soft knees, soft, free arms, right? They can be expressive and expansive and light, but the feet are super earthed and grounded. And just by doing this, you're just going to start getting a bit more grounding. You're going to keep connecting down into the earth. It can just help you kind of free out the heart space and whatever the emotions are that are getting stuck up here and just feel that grounded support of the earth. Now I'm going to throw in a couple of spins because it just makes me super happy to spin. So we just, you're just going to turn. Again, you can take it on the spot or you can move around your space. If you know how to spot, it will help you with not being dizzy. So that's where you look at that point as you're turning, but you know, get dizzy, it's fine. It's half the fun. Okay. And then when you've had enough of stamping out those feet nice and gently, you can come to stillness. And just take an inhale, reach the arms out wide, up overhead, bring your hands down to your heart center. Just let your hands rest in your heart and feel your feet. Feel their connection with the earth beneath you. Notice any little tingly sensations that may be running through the feet and the legs. And hopefully you found this has helped you feel a little bit more grounded, a little bit more settled, a little bit more free in the upper body. Let me know any questions, how you found it, and I hope that you have a lovely rest of 2020 and best of fortune for 2021.